Mammatus Clouds over St. Mary's Lighthouse in Whitley Bay, Northumberland Owen Humphreys per women protest outside Downing Street as they join a demonstration demanding rights for working mothers Getty Images England's under-17s pose with a World Cup trophy as they arrive back to the UKPA Leicester City Remembrance Day fixture between between Leicester City and Everton at King Power Stadium Plum Images Leicester City FC via Getty Images Spider-Man steals a seat on the Iron Throne from Game of Thrones at MCM London Comic Con's opening day Rex features British fashion designer Vivienne Westwood holds up a paper against the government's policy on fracking outside Downing Street in London at Getty members of a delegation of indigenous and rural community leaders from 14 countries in Latin America and Indonesia, the Guardians of the Forest campaign, demonstrate against deforestation in London during a stop on the way to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change UNFCCC Conference of the parties 23 COP 23 in Bonn, Germany Tolga Ackman at Getty Gemma Davis, 23, cleans the doll's house during its annual clean at the National Trust's Cork Abbey property, in Ticknell, Derbyshire. The doll's house was used by the family's various generations of children between 1860 and the Second World War in their schoolroom. PA Prince William and Kate chat with West Ham player Mark Noble and manager Slaven Billick during the Coach Corps graduation ceremony. Getty Images Jellyfish wash up on Sidmouth Beach after Storm Ophelia hit the UK. Getty Images A red sun appears in mid Wales before Storm Ophelia hits Paul Williams. Alamy Live News The Duchess of Cambridge dances with Paddington Bear as they attend a charities forum event at Paddington train station in London on October 16, 2017. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and Prince Harry join children from the charities they support on board Belmont British Pullman train at Paddington station. The event was hosted by STUDIOCANAL, with support from BAFTA through its BAFTA Kids program, and before embarking their Royal Highnesses met the cast and crew from the forthcoming film Paddington 2 at Getty Images large waves crashed along sea defences and the harbour as Storm Ophelia approaches Porth Leven in Cornwall, South West Britain Reuters Hillary Clinton gives a speech as she is presented with a honorary doctorate of law at Swansea University in Swansea, Wales. The former U.S. Secretary of State and 2016 American presidential candidate is also visiting the U.K. to promote her new book, What Happened? Matthew Horwood Getty A loan protester demonstrates outside workman quadrillas shale gas fracking drilling rig near Westby in Blackpool. Engineers have begun to build the new rig at the site off Preston New Road in preparation for extracting gas. The site will be the first in the UK to extract shale gas since 2011. Getty photographs of missing Syrians are displayed as people, including a group of Syrian women, stand atop a doubler decker bus during a demonstration by Families for Freedom in Parliament Square in London. Getty workmen erect scaffolding around the Elizabeth Tower, commonly known called Big Ben, during ongoing renovations to the tower and the Houses of Parliament at Getty. An order of service is carried ahead of the funeral service for coronation. Street actress Liz Dawn, real name Sylvia Ann Ebertson, outside Salford Cathedral. A former Woolworths shop girl from Leeds, who first set foot on Weatherfield's famous cobbles in 1974, Dawn, who had four children, DPC last week at home with her family around her. PA Melanie Kramers of Oxfam poses while wearing a mask of Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson, with assorted props used in political campaigns in the storeroom at Oxfam's headquarters in London. The props have all been used in the charity's campaigns over the years to raise awareness of issues affecting people in poverty. Today marks 75 years since Oxfam's founding in the middle of the Second World War Getty A visitor poses in front of an artwork by Czech Republic artist Anna Hulakova entitled Ascension Mark I during a photo call for the Freeze Art Fair in London at Getty Britain's Chancellor of the Exchequer Philip Hammond arrives to speak at the Conservative Party's conference in Manchester Roy to Shanna Mackay protesters holding flags and placards demonstrate along Oxford Street during the annual Ashu Ra March in London. London. Thousands of protesters marched through London today to mark Ashura and celebrate the defeat of the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria.
Ashura is a Muslim festival of remembrance that falls on the 10th day of Muharram in the Islamic calendar. Jack Taylor Getty protesters hold up placards during the London March for Choice, calling for the legalizing of abortion in Ireland after the referendum announcement. Outside the Embassy of Ireland in central London, Chris J. Ratcliffe, a former UKIP leader, Paul Nuttall C. speaks with delegates at the UKIP annual conference being held at the, the Riviera International Centre in Torquay, Makati Getty, England, and West Indies fans enjoy themselves during the 4th Royal London One Day International between England and Wessons at the Keir Oval in London. Mike Hewitt Getty Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn takes photographs during Shadow Secretary of State for Business, Energy and Industrial Strategy Rebecca Long Bailey's speech in the main hall. On day three of the annual Labour Party conference in Brighton Dan Kitwood Getty images naked bathers enter the water as they take part in the northeast skinny dip at Druridge Bay in Druridge, England. The popular annual event takes place around the autumn equinox at Truridge Bay as the sun rises. Participant registration fees have been pledged to the mental health charity Mind. Getty Rollo Morfling, our crew at of Stonehenge and Britain are conducts a ceremony as Druids, pagans and revelers gather in the centre at Stonehenge, hoping to see the sunrise, as they take part in a autumn equinox celebrations at the ancient Neolithic monument of Stonehenge near Amesbury in Wiltshire, England. Several hundred people gathered at sunrise are the famous historic Stone Circle, a UNESCO-listed ancient monument, to celebrate the equinox which is a specific moment in time that occurs twice a year when the Earth tilts neither towards summer or away winter from the sun in either the northern or southern hemisphere. Although yesterday marked the actual meteorological calendar change from summer to autumn, for Druids, the following dawn is when they celebrate the dawning of the new season following the day of equal night, which it is named after. Getty Britain's Prime Minister Theresa May delivers her Brexit speech at the Complesso Santa Maria Novella in Florence, Italy. British Prime Minister Theresa May will seek to unlock Brexit talks on September 22, after Brussels demanded more clarity on the crunch issues of budget payments and EU citizens' rights AFP people protest against the actions of the Spanish government in front of the Spanish consulate in Edinburgh. Spanish police stormed ministries and buildings belonging to Catalonia's regional government yesterday, in an attempt to try and put a stop to the region's independence referendum. Pep Massapalami, one of the final 55 metres turbine blades, is manoeuvred into position. The last of 116 wind turbines have been installed at the Rampion offshore wind farm 13 kms off the Brighton coast. It will provide enough electricity to supply the equivalent of half the homes in Sus Mike at Getty Images and armed police officer patrols in Horse Guards Parade in London. An 18-year-old man has been arrested in Dover in connection with yesterday's terror attack on Parsons Green Station in which 30 people were injured. The UK terror threat level has been raised to critical Jack Taylor Getty Images demonstrators hold banners during a protest to lobby MPs to guarantee the rights of EU citizens living in the UK, after Brexit. Outside the Houses of Parliament Tolga Akmanara Rupert van der Werf, Summer Place Auctions Natural History Specialist, moves a one-year-old baby mammoth skeleton at Summer's Place Auctions on September 12, 2017 in Billingshurst. A family of four mammoths, found together during building works near the Siberian city of Tomsk in 2002, will be on sale on November 21, 2017, and are expected to sell in the region of £250,000 400,000 Rob Stothargety Images Members of the Royal Navy carry supplies on board the amphibious assault ship HMS Ocean at the naval base in Gibraltar before leaving to provide humanitarian assistance and vital aid to British overseas territories and Commonwealth partners affected by Hurricane Irma. Britain has pledged £32 million, €35 million, Euros, $42 million in aid and sent hundreds of troops, supplies and rescue equipment on several flights to the British territories in the Caribbean since the disaster Jorge Guerrero at Getty Images His Holiness the Dalai Lama holds the hand of Richard Moore as he gives a public talk on the theme of compassion in action to celebrate 20 years of the Children in Crossfire Initiative in Londonderry, Northern Ireland. The Dalai Lama is the patron of the Children in Crossfire charity which was founded by Richard Moore. Mr Moore was blinded by a plastic bullet fired by a British SOLR during the Troubles in Derry. 
Getty Images, 